Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of The Closet, number one. This is a book from Image Comics. Uh, oh boy, and you can just kind of tell by the cover that this is going to be a horror story. Uh, and once I tell you about the creative team, you'll definitely know that this is a horror story. Uh, the Closet is written by James Tinian IV, with art by Gavin Fullerton, uh, colors by Chris O'Halloran, and letters by Tom Napolitano, Really cool design by Dylan Todd. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, talk a little bit about what this book is about. Uh, uh, we meet a character named Thumb who is moving cross country with his family and dragging the past along with him. Uh, his son, Jamie, is seeing monsters in the bedroom closet and will not let them go. This is a tale of existential familial horror. Uh, and boy, is it ever. So, let's take a look at some of the the preview art by uh, Fullerton and Holleran, uh, and we'll talk more about the story. So one of the things I really appreciate about uh, James Tinian is that he always finds, and, and this is also his collaborators, um, always find a way to really set the scene and set the mood. Like just here sitting at this bar, we know that something is at least troubling, right? We don't know what's going on, but the way the second panel shows is this character alone at the bar drinking and then as we get into a little bit of conversation with the bartender as you know he explains that he's leaving they're moving things are not doing super hot at home um so yeah definitely definitely we know that we are in for a little bit of a ride and i just really love the work of O'Halloran's colors like there's so many dark inks but just the the pieces that uh O'Halloran manage, manages to highlight uh, specifically, maybe like some of this at the bottom with all the bottles in the back, just all that stuff really well done. And you'll see more as we get into the some of the other pages. Uh, so we go back to the apartment with the family. We meet little Jamie, the cutest little child you can ever see. And oh my God, this is when the story really gets into like, are you really ready? Let me show you this next panel, which really got me just this door ajar, the full black behind Jamie full darkness engulfing him just you know nighttime kids being scared of the dark being scared of things in the closet i think it's very relatable uh and i think the team just by leaving this mostly blank like with no no uh dialogue they just managed to at least they accomplished to at least make me feel uncomfortable and then also because the design of the little kid is so cute like uh yeah you feel bad for the kid right uh, and even then, like when his family's trying to prove that there's nothing in the closet, um, it just, <clears throat> it doesn't work. It doesn't work to relieve that stress. It doesn't help. Uh, and it just, uh, it, it gets worse from there for, for everyone really. So I highly recommend you check this out. If you like books that are thrilling and that are scary and a little bit weird, this is perfect for you. James Tinian manages to do it again. I am reading so many ongoings by James Tinian. It is ridiculous. And bringing in Fullerton and O'Halloran in this adventure. Oh my God, I can't wait. I, I just can't wait for the next one, really. I was I was a little upset that I read this so early in the week uh, to make the video and, and do the review that I have to wait even longer now. So, uh, But in the meanwhile, I can read another one of Tinian's books, uh, Something Scale the Children uh, or uh, you know, House of Slaughter. Uh, or Department of Truth, or, you know, something weird. We can always go back and revisit some of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this book. Uh, this is this is something you're going to want to pick up. I, I highly recommend it. Um, but as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. Uh, and remember to stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, movie reviews, all that fun stuff here in the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.